Hey, what's going on guys? Here's a video that I made a few years ago. This is the bike barn in Lakeland, Florida. The bike barn is no longer around. Unfortunately, it closed down after being in business for over 50 years. I drove past this place. I can't tell you how many times and always plan to go inside. Unfortunately, I never got to go inside until the final weeks of the store being open. And I regret that every day. But let's go take a look inside. Very neat store, family owned, second generation, the bike barn. When I first walked in, I noticed this Vision Gator board on the ceiling. Uh, the, the board had been broke. Um, they just tacked it up there, nailed it up there. Here's some uh, skateboarding stickers. Uh, all this stuff was sold. Here are some old BMX pictures from the early 80s late 70s uh, the person that I spoke to one of the store owners super nice um, I asked her if she would be willing to do a little interview um, just telling me some of the stories that we were talking about she said she didn't want to be on camera which I totally understand love talking to people uh, that own stores that own stores in the 70s 80s 90s uh, and I'll do so every time I get a chance she was telling me stories about being at the bicycle store until 3 a.m., 4 a.m., uh, Christmas morning, putting bikes together for uh, kids for Christmas Day. There's that skateboard. I helped take that down for them. It was already sold to somebody else, unfortunately. Uh, it was in super great shape except for being uh, cracked. Uh, but I was able to walk away with a few things. Um, about this Vision Streetwear sign that was sold as well. Uh, they had, you know, a few odds in it. I wish I could have got there a couple of weeks uh, prior. But, you know, it is what it is. Here's some old stickers. Dealer stickers. I uh, should have got that case. I don't know if they were selling that case or not. Uh, they had a neat little sheet right here that I'm about to show you. And this is what they used to put skateboards together with. Um, skateboard uh, component guide. You know, risers. Uh, grind, uh, grind guards and stuff like that. Uh, tail guards. Uh, Vision Sports. I wonder if that number is still in service. But I uh, couldn't get this either. That was something they were going to keep. But here is the things that I was able to walk away with. And I was fortunate to be able to walk away with some super neat items. There are some Lance Armstrong, Livestrong. Um, what do you call those armbands? Uh, ten in a package. Uh, I think I paid. I think I paid five bucks for that. I don't remember all the uh, prices on everything. Here are some risers for your trucks. Um, I don't think any of these were name brand. Just some generic ones. There are some uh, guards right here. I don't even know what you would call those for your tail. Um, but. Uh, I did ask the uh, one of the store owners, and she said the uh, that was pretty much all they had. They didn't have anything more than that, but that's just holdovers from the uh, late 90s. Or, I'm sorry, uh, late 80s, early 90s. But all that stuff is sold. I sold it. Uh, sold fairly quick. I got a decent price for it. Uh, you can see below that are some GT stickers. Uh, still got quite a few of them. And I think they come in packs of 10. Uh, this one is a 360 oval uh, ultralight. But there are the uh, GT stickers. I forget how much I was selling them for. Uh, I still have quite a few of them. There are some little plastic brackets for a uh, cardboard sign that I'll be showing uh, later on in the video. But there's the stickers. Uh, pretty awesome to find stuff like this. You know, there can't be uh, many of these items floating around still uh, brand new. It was really neat being able to talk to the store owner, hearing stories about the bicycles, the skateboards, the heyday of uh, the early 80s. Um, just tremendous stories about putting bikes together. I uh, really wish that I could have got them on camera, but it is what it is. Maybe just audio. Audio would have been great too. Vintage dyno numbers. I still got tons and tons of these. I've been selling these for 
think five dollars. I have all the numbers except for three. I don't know. Uh, I guess three was a popular number. I was trying to sell these in lots, you know, like zero through nine minus three. Uh, then I just made a listing on eBay, a uh, multiple item listing, and started selling the numbers individually. And it's worked out pretty well. You know, people want two fours, a nine, and a, a two. They really don't want zero through nine. But if they want zero through nine, they can go ahead and buy them uh, separately. The bike barn. There is a, uh, I guess this is a, a flyer from the, uh, how much were they selling those for? $2 each. Goodness gracious. Uh, I think I paid $30 for that whole box. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, stickers in there. Uh, sold this sign already. I really didn't make a lot of money on that sign. I think I paid like 5 bucks for it. But it sold fairly quickly. Uh, I was happy to get it. I was happy to get anything in this store. I love going to old brick and mortar stores. Here are some GT uh, signs, holiday signs. She said they uh, they had this since the 80s and they would bust it out. 80s or 90s. And uh, they would bust it out um, every holiday season and hang the sign up. I still have, I, th I think I have most of these. I think I only sold one. Uh, one of these. You know, I'm asking a lot of money for them too. Like I said this stuff isn't hard or it isn't easy to come by, so I'm not going to give it away. I'd rather hold on to it. But I was happy to get this as well. It's a shame the store is closed down. They just were getting ready to retire, and I don't think they had any family members that wanted to continue the business. The building's no longer there. They tore it down. I don't know what they're going to do with the business. It's just a a dirt field right now but it is what it is time changes time passes everything changes GT Dino Holiday this is the one that they would bust out for Christmas every year the number one brand layaway layaway is a thing if you don't know what layaway is if you're too young to know what layaway is ask your parents if your parents don't know maybe ask your grandparents Layaway. Number one brand. I sold one of these. I think I have uh, another one. And I still got the uh, the four-piece sign. So Pretty neat. If I ever get a large enough space, maybe I'll keep it and just hang it up. Maybe laminate it so it doesn't get uh, damaged any further. You can see where the bugs have kind of gotten to it over the years. Now this I still have. I don't plan on getting rid of this anytime soon. Uh, Vision Street, where it's a huge sign. It's made out of, it's almost like a plastic paper. It's not paper. It's kind of like a, a plastic fiber paper. I don't know what you would call it. But it was stapled to the uh, ceiling. And whoever bought all the skateboard stuff uh, didn't buy this. So I was able to get the ladder, get it taken down, and happy to get it. Very cool uh, Vision Street wear. If you don't remember what that is, uh, very popular skateboarding brand back in the 80s, I guess into the early 90s, but um, kind of fell off in the 90s. Favorite skateboard ever is the Vision Psycho Stick. Love the graphics. Um, I don't know what this is worth. I tried to sell it over the years for like $500, $600. Um, I had a lot of offers for like 200, 300, 400. I'm not going to not going to give it away. I'd rather just hold on to it. I guess I'll die with it. Uh very cool sign. It's uh, probably 5 to 6 feet long. But that's it as as well over 5 feet long. That's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Stay safe. See you later.